What's up guys, it's your boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Pick Droppers, back at it again with a Mutt 17 Legends video. Now in this video, I am going to be showing you guys this week's Legends. Now first up is Ricky Williams. Now he is mainly known for being a really good running back for the Miami Dolphins. I'm really surprised they gave him a Saints card, but let's see the attributes. Now he does have a tackle battle or battle ready chemistry, which means that anytime uh, you're in a tackle battle, his button will always pop up as A, and that's really, really useful. Um, and so you guys can see the stats. I'm going to compare it to AP. Uh, he has the same speed, worse agility, uh, better excel, better carrying, be uh, worse ball carrier vision, worse elusiveness, same trucking and a little bit worse juke move. So he's a little bit worse than AP. Let me just check the strength. Ooh, AB does have a huge advantage there in the catching. So Ricky does have an advantage in the catching. Now let's compare him to David Johnson. So David Johnson has the same speed. Better, uh, no, Ricky Williams has better agility, a little bit worse excel, uh, the same carrying, a little bit worse ball carrier vision, a little bit a pretty substantial amount better in elusiveness and trucking, but a, uh, just a little bit worse in juke move. And let's see the strength. Uh, so they're, they both have the same strength, and Ricky Williams is better catching. So I would say they're pretty much, I mean, Ricky Williams is a little bit better, but for the price, I mean, I would go with David Johnson because David Johnson's probably like 30, 40K cheaper. I mean, Ricky Williams with the tackle battle uh, always being A, that's definitely going to help uh, boost up his price. And the other one, the other legend is Mike Singletary. Uh, he was a very good uh, linebacker, especially in for the Bears 85 defense. He played a huge role, and he is way better than all of my middle linebackers. Uh, let's go through the stats. He has better speed, better awareness, better tackling better play rack, better block shed by a huge amount. He's going to be very good if you send him on a blitz or something because he'll get a fast block shed. He also has better pursuit. The only downside is his zone coverage, which is really bad, but his hit power is pretty good. Uh, let me see his block shed. Or not his block shed, his, um, uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Finesse moves, I guess. Play rack. 92 play rec, uh, stamina and injury is pretty good. So all around a very, very good card. Um, and he's going around 300K, no, 200, 200K, around around 200K. Uh, let me see how much it costs to make the card. And I wanna know uh, if you guys like these types of videos where I show you the cards that come out. Um, let's see, Legends and then uh, Mike Singletary. So his gold card is going for about 20K. And then his elite card is going for about 20K. So it's probably a total of, I don't know, 220K to make them. You could sell for around 220K. So I don't think the set is worth doing unless you want to keep them. Uh, let's see, Ricky Williams, 35K, and then his elite version, 22K, so he's about 250K, and he's only selling for, like, except for this one isn't the tackle battle ready. This is actually the worst one, and it's going for a lot, um, and so that's how much the cards are. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, write a comment down below on what you would like to see next. It's your boy Pick Droppers, and I'm out. Peace.